Hey all. Well, it's the last night on the ship. Still haven't got my voice back, but uh, uh, it's better. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, still got the cough. But anyway, I'm packing up and this is what's going to be discarded. Uh, hopefully a little bit more. There's uh, two jackets, a uh, couple of socks, pullover, a couple of books that I uh, would like to keep but they're just too heavy. I can always get more, they're cheap enough. Uh, T-shirt, uh, a few other little things. And uh, this is uh, what's left. This is my big bag. The bottom half is tight as a drum. And and uh, all of this here has to go into the top half. Not sure how I'm going to go. Uh, now this, unfortunately, I'm going to have to carry on my back. Um, it That's what's going to be sent back. And I just can't, I very much doubt that I'll have room in the uh, suitcase for that. But uh, that should be all right. Uh, most of what I'm wearing now is what I'll be wearing tomorrow. Uh, apparently it should be fairly warm in New York. So, it's a half an hour to the last dinner, which reminds me, this clock is also disappearing. Um, I'm going to set it for oh, four o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, four o'clock. We go under the uh, Vrano Narrows Bridge at 5 a.m. and then another two hours uh, to uh, dock at Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. So I've got some uh, cash, got it today. So all should be okay. I found the address for the hotel, so thank goodness. I only had one document everywhere. I only had one document. I saved it as a PDF on the laptop, thank goodness. Otherwise, I would have had to have paid for a night in a hotel that I didn't know where it was. <laughs> anyway, um, so now to the point. I've been not so much saving it, but I haven't had a reason to open it. But... There's a little bottle of champagne here, and I'm going to open it now, and hopefully finish it off before dinner. So, so you can watch me do this. If I can ever find that to open it. Oh, there we go. I had a glass of uh, Rose Lorette Perrier today. It was 24 US dollars for about half a glass of it. I thought, well, last fling. It was okay, but uh, nothing spectacular. The, uh, the ordinary Laurent Perrier that I had one glass of before, which was only $16 US a glass, was uh, terrible. Okay, here we go. Well, here's to... Seven nights on the Queen Mary too. Oh jeez, quite a bit in that. I might have to finish it when I get back. Oh. Ah. Oh, not sure if I like it, but it doesn't matter.
I'll still drink it. Oh, oh it's tart. Oh. Paul Acker. I have to get the glasses to read it. Paul Acker, produced in France by CFG, blah, 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 blah. 11.5% Polacca Blanc de Blancs Okay, yeah, that's how they uh, it's one of the methods of of uh, naming sparkling wine rather than champagne as champagne can only be used by a certain area there's Blanc de Blancs and and some other Blunk to whatever to uh, yeah, someone at the table mentioned how, how it's all done, but uh, I think in Australia we just call it sparkling Pinot Noir, and <laughs> that's about it, something like that. But anyway, I shall persevere with this. Yes, I'll have to drink the rest of it after dinner. <sighs> oh, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Must have been because I cleaned my teeth. Yeah. With that terrible toothpaste. Bought this tube of toothpaste in uh, UK. And it's the most terrible tasting toothpaste ever. I might just have to throw it out. It, it's terrible. I mean, maybe it's good for your teeth and everything, gums. But what you've got to go through to use it. It's terrible. All I had to do was flavour it with, I don't know, black currants or something. Anything, but... Anyway, I'll sign off and I'll see you after dinner uh, and finish my final packing. Final night. It's amazing how the time does fly. Spot focus. Well, it's evening. It's uh, just before 8 p.m. Ah, uh, 8 p.m. according to tomorrow morning, because uh, the clock goes back one hour. But uh, essentially 8 p.m. Now set the alarms for 4 a.m. because we're going under the bridge at 5 a.m. and I want to be up and see it all. I don't actually exit from the place until. Excuse me while I mute this. <coughs> Where was I? Um, yeah, I've packed everything. I managed to get everything into the big black case. And what's in the little red and orange stripe one is uh, stuff that I'm happy to, uh, to let go. However, didn't quite make it. I have to use a little backpack here. And that has all of the stuff that I'm going to send back. So, I, I, you'd have to say I did manage to uh, achieve uh, the one bag. Because <coughs> dragging bags, two bags around is no fun. I've, so far, it has been... A terrible thing to do but I probably will until I get to the hotel unless I can palm off the uh, the other bag oh I was going to palm it off here but I forgot I need to palm off the uh, red and orange stripe bag to uh, some sort of thrift shop that's the ideal but when I actually find one, that's another story. So, but at least I have managed to get it down to one, which is fabulous. It's heavy, but it's just one bag. So the one bag plus my little satchel, man handbag, and uh, that's it. Uh, tomorrow, of course, yes, I've still got that. But as soon as I find a post office tomorrow evening or the day after 
that is uh, going home. Yeah, it's about a, oh yeah, I think it's almost two kilos now. <coughs> yeah, I bought a uh, wind cheater from the uh, store with uh, Cunard on it and also bought another mug and a, a fridge magnet. So uh, that should be enough. Uh, I would have liked to have got more, uh, but uh, it just gets so expensive. The wind cheater was... Uh, was 45 or 50 dollars US I mean what's that 70 80 dollars Australian that's crazy but anyway had to have at least something and uh, so I can show off when I get home so it's eight o'clock I'm tossing up whether to go out and have a uh, one last or two last or well, three last drinks before I go to bed. I, th I think if I get seven hours sleep I'll be fine. Tomorrow will be a challenge. I have to somehow get out of the... Uh... Oh, yes, that's better. You can see me now. <coughs> somehow I have to get out of the terminal after all of the uh, security, blah blah. Get on a ferry because I've got cash now, get on a ferry to the Wall Street Terminal in uh, the Manhattan Island and from there hopefully get a taxi cab to my Chelsea Hotel. That's the plan and once I'm there uh, with Wi-Fi um, I've got to uh, figure out what I'm doing with upstate New York and also uh, get a SIM card. Uh, what else? Oh, that's, they're the main ones, um, but yeah, also what sort of car I'm going to get uh, for the, after the uh, 5th of uh, July. So, uh, yeah, and also try and book a, uh, a flight up the elevator for the Empire State. And also I want to try and get onto the Stephen Colbert show. Um, I, I think I may be a bit too late for that, but anyway, who knows, there might be one seat available for for the one of the four nights, and uh, that's all I want. Um, I do remember that the bookings were only available up, up until two weeks prior, so, you know, it was, I should have done it in Southampton, but no, I forgot, I forgot. Um, what else? I think that's about it for now. Yeah, I think I'll go for one last drink or two. Yeah, um, yeah, my bill is, uh, ooh, I had $200 US credit, but I think I've spent two or 300 more as well. Um, I'll get the bill in the morning, but it had to be. The, that's still not too bad. I spent much more on the Golden Princess uh, cruise, actually. I think I paid about I don't know, six or seven hundred for that. So, yeah, no, this is all right. All right, going for one last or two last drinks on the Queen Mary 2. <laughs> 